An alarming new report finds that millennials face a health crisis of epic proportions. Our investigative producer, Leslie Marcus, reports on what's driving this grim picture of millennials' future health. Millennials have a reputation for loving all things wellness, but a new report says millennials are poised to be broker, sicker, and die younger than previous generations. So why all this doom and gloom when it comes to my generation? So I set up a panel of millennials to find out. The millennials have united. How many of you are self-employed? How many of you have debt? So how many of you have health insurance? I think it's a waste of money. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't need health insurance. Can you tell me about your debt? I'm an artist, I'm independent, I own my own business, but I have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of debt. Kevin, you didn't raise your hand when I asked you about health insurance. Tell me about that. Okay, so I was employed up until two weeks ago, and through my employer, I had health insurance. And then I was laid off about two weeks ago, and only have health insurance to the end of this month. You're 37, so you're on the tail end of this millennial world. Do you have a plan in place for your future? I came from a family where my father was a, a corporate um, a accountant, and I never wanted to follow him and follow that ladder. Uh, I'm an artist, I'm a coach, I want to do my own thing. And when you do that, there's a lot more risk at stake. It is a little stressful, it does keep me up at night. So Jonathan, you're self-employed and have to get your own insurance. How's that working for you? Well, right now, because I'm still under the 26 age for the Affordable Care Act, I am under my parents' insurance. What happens when you can't be on your parents' insurance plan anymore? Uh, I have to figure out a way to pay for it myself. So Ellie, you recently moved here from the UK and had a health scare. Can you tell me about that? Yes, um, I just had a, a simple kidney infection. So um, I had to call an ambulance and ended up in a lot of debt. How much debt are you in? The bill was $22,000 for a kidney infection. So Ellie, you have another baby on the way. Yeah, we're expecting number two. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And you're self-employed, so you're really doing this all on your own. It's always been expensive, but you know, especially after having my daughter, I started realizing paying almost $700 a month wasn't getting me the specialists I needed to see. I'm being penalized and I'm spending so much money. Like, this is crazy. So everybody here except Ali, you know, you're single, right? No kids. Do you want a family? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I mean, with all these increased costs, you have to work and work and work till we're 100 to make enough money to have kids. <laughs> so it seems like the common thread here is that our parents had a plan in place, and we don't. Right. They didn't have a choice. They had to do that to support the family. They wanted to provide for them. They wanted to send them off to good schools. And, you know, sometimes that's where a lot of debt comes from. And then we're sort of left on our own in a, in a much more difficult situation. Leslie joins us now. And Leslie, I have to ask you, great investigation. What other things did you find? Millennials are a fascinating group. They're living in the moment. They don't want this conventional nine to five job. They want to do their own thing. And there's repercussions to this living in the moment mentality and not having a plan. I mean, it's estimated that 60% of millennials are living paycheck to paycheck. Now, to bring it back to health, this Blue Cross Blue Shield study that I based my investigation upon um, had some really striking findings. I mean, one of the greatest ones is that millennials' health is declining at age 27, which is much earlier than previous generations. And there's a number of reasons for that, and that's physical factors, but also behavioral health factors, mental health, depression, and I believe anxiety and stress of this unknown, it definitely plays a role in all of this. My understanding from that survey is that many of the diagnoses that are contributing to that decline after age 27 are mental health diagnoses, exactly. like major depressive exactly. disorder, substance abuse. I mean, we certainly saw all that terrible anxiety on the faces mm -hmm. of the people in your segment. And the people I spoke to, some of the ones that had health insurance, they, it didn't cover therapy. And they were really upset about that. They wanted to see a psychologist. They wanted to see somebody, and they couldn't. So it just goes back to this mentality that a lot of them told me they don't need health insurance or they don't even want it because it's not going to help them. Some people I spoke to, they were offered health insurance at their jobs and declined and bought an expensive gym membership instead because they said they used that. As an ER doctor, you can live an incredibly healthy life and still get hit by a car. It's, I mean, it, and that's mm -hmm. why having some type of insurance is so important to prevent financial Armageddon.